It's a lot of fun to choose what materials you're gonna use on the home. Here I chose our 12 inch double hewn. I just think it's awesome. We've got that rough, rugged finish that comes with the hewning process. We also have a 12 inch stack height here. So it's gonna blend in really well with my large timber trusses. Another thing I really like about the double hewn that makes it completely unique to Golden Eagle is the roundness that you get here with the edges. So I'm really excited to see how this looks on the home. I think it's gonna be absolutely incredible. Usually our customers order a complete turnkey home, including the staining, but I wanted to save some money and that's why I'm doing it myself. All of Zach's custom timber trusses are completed and are now ready for sanding and staining. A person can customize this however they want. We can have different ends down here, so I actually specified for it to look exactly as you see it. There's no truss that is gonna be built exactly the same. These are all uh, custom made here at Golden Eagle. That's what I really like about it. It's all a one of a kind. Here at Golden Eagle Logging Timber Homes, we are a nationwide manufacturer of logging timber home packages. We service the lower 48, Alaska and Canada. We control the entire process of logging timber milling. We also control the harvesting of the material. Our best selling species are Eastern White Pine, Western Red Cedar, and Douglas Fir. Our FSC certified foresters go out and cut down a round tree, and then we take it and, and have it sawn into a square cant. Then we bring those to our yard. They typically contain about 70 to 75% moisture content. And then we'll air dry them for up to about nine months. And that moisture content drops to about 30, 35%. At which time, we will put the cants into our kiln and we'll mechanically dry that wood down to 19%, which is the same moisture content that conventional frame lumber has. So you're not gonna see any more settling in a kiln dried log or timber home than you would see in a conventionally framed home. So once the log and timbers have been dried, we take them and run them through our profiling mill. Each log is milled to exacting specifications, identical to the one that was milled prior to it and identical to the one that will be milled after it. So when the logs or timbers are stacked at the job site, there's no guesswork on how the components are going to fit together. On the end of this run, this is where we check these. We put this steel gauge on these logs as they come through to make sure nothing's changed in the machine and everything is true. You know, one of our internal quality control processes is when we create our corners, we take every fifth corner that's made off of the assembly line and we mock up in our factory the exact corner that we're making to make sure that all of our tolerance is still in check and that n none of the stops in the machine may have bumped or moved during the milling process. So a full log went in and two pieces of half log came out as a corner set. And this is how much waste we had on that one right there. So it's really thought out so we're not wasting wood. Zach's pre-finished hand-hewn log and timber trusses are now ready for delivery. Before applying the half log, the crew begins installing the maintenance-free aluminum soffit and fascia. They also install the massive 12-inch vertical corners. Next, they begin the first row of half logs. Zach chose cedar accent shingles for the gable. Next, 
the first truss will be lifted and secured into the front gable. The first exterior timber truss is installed, with more to come on both the outside and inside of the home. A custom rafter roof system on each side of the garage is also completed. This not only adds style to the garage, but also protects the doors and windows from rain and snow. The steel roof is added to the front porch. When you come off the driveway, the timber trusses really catch your attention. That's an arched queen truss up there, and behind it is a 1x12 board on board with a hewn finish. I think it really makes a more distinctive gable. It separates it from the, the first 9, first 10 feet of the home. It gives it that stunning appearance that I was looking for. The next day, the crew builds the railing system on the covered porch, complete with a custom double top rail. Its hand-hewn finish matches the rest of the home. On the back of the house, they begin building the massive 52-foot wide deck. Golden Eagle has designed the wood-burning fireplace chase to be inside the home, where it'll be more energy efficient. By doing so, heat won't be lost outside because the chase has insulation behind it. Traditional fireplaces with the chase on the outside are prone to losing massive amounts of heat since there's no insulation on the fireplace itself. Zach still wanted the look of a chimney chase on the outside, so the builders fabricate a false chase, which will give his feature wall more depth and dimension. The next day, they trim in the windows and patio doors and then apply cedar shingles to the wall. Over the course of just a few months, Zach's custom Timber Ranch Golden Eagle Log and Timber Home has been transformed from dream to reality, and the work inside is about to begin.